You making noises when I get up out of the seat like, <laughs> I didn't make him that time. Damn, I'm eating my battery up with this GoPro setting. Like you see, my antenna is up at that angle right now. Let me just close this garage here. I haven't I haven't done a POV ride on a mic buff or the quad angle. We're in the mountain bikes. I'm, I'm not sure if I'll have time to do that. We'll see. Let me show you. I'm gonna hold the GoPro up, and then I'll watch. I'll, I'll hopefully it goes up. I'm able to reach it and let you see it. So the antenna's right there. That same button we're using. So it's at a good good height right now. But if you want to get better reception, well back then, I was kind of wondering would it be all right to put one of those little convert. Nah, I'll leave it old school. I kind of like it like that. It looks looks classy. That's how I be go go gadget and boy, I'm like, <laughs> extendo. <laughs> I be wild. Since it has been sitting a while, huh? you, you, that's one thing about these cars. You gotta you gotta keep it uh keep it groovy with the cars. Oh, speaking of, my man J Saw. All right, man. Uh, some of this stuff I, is inspired to do because I I told you I'm like this because you are you're interested in one but you never seen like the the interior and what to swap and just advice on audio to those also when you do get one since the, everything's power lock power trunk go ahead and make it keyless get yourself a uh, let me turn this radio down before I turn up uh, get yourself an alarm on the car uh, just to be extra so extra security get yourself a kill switch if you have to I'm not saying that these cars are highly sought after right now because they usually is usually they go after the the you know the low for hanging fruit hondas and stuff like that because they're easy to you know like the 90s hondas like easy to jump in and like you know steal stuff out of it this one would be kind of hard if you stole this car it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb so it's like yeah they're going and, and you go to you go to prison for that because I forgot you know, over ten thousand dollars or something like that. This car exceeds ten thousand, so uh, go ahead get your orange jumpsuit ready, baby. What is another thing about this thing? Yeah, yeah, you got ashtrays. I'll, I'll go through that when I when I find a place to spark. I mean, I said spark. I said ashtrays and spark. Boy, I be putting the you know how I do. I'm just joking with y'all. Other than that yeah let's see how was it driving one left turns you're gonna be a little wide because you're gonna, this is gonna be the opposite now than when you're in the left standard side so it's gonna be a little wide that's about all i can say um right turns you feel like alan's or boy or you feel like you know one of the, the indy car or something like drive you just like right there and you like you feel good parallel parking easy you're you're close to it so you can kind of get the depth that's if you're at stock height i'm not at stock height so i gotta watch how high the curbs are when i do park uh, let's see what else passing people on the left you just gotta be mindful i basically I, I i do a lot of hugging of the of the lines a little bit i'll i'll see the line give it a little space and i feel like i'm all right just kind of like when you're on the left side you kind of stick closest to that line so you know you have plenty of depth perception or you know you know the car is like ultra wide but now if you got like one of them wide ass like supercars I don't know what that life's like because you got to be close on either side. I don't know. Or those big trucks with like lift kits on it. Like my friend has one. And driving it, it's like I just want to stay in between those lines, but I know I got some tires sticking out. So but this car is an easy drive. What is it like? It's like driving uh, the earlier series. Like it would be an Infinity um, Q45. It'd be like driving a Q45. Or oh yeah, like an M45, like that. It has that same road presence but you're just on this side. So it's not a super big car. It's a big car, but the interior, as you see, I'm in it. It's the size of my Lexus on the outside, but at the inside, it's about the size of my G37, which is fine. You know, the market that this car was designed for wasn't Americans who like to eat burgers and stuff like that. So that's all good. So I'm going to go ahead and transition to another part of the video where I show you something wild and crazy kid like you know what I mean? Woo, 19%. I might change this battery before I get it cracking. It's gonna cut off, but it is what it is. As you see, nice little seat controls here. 
bow bow uh, nice little lumbar everything you have your trunk you have your gas easy so it's easy to go ahead and convert that to a power lock setup uh let's see child lock system good 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 and safe only thing about this is you notice uh it's good to get those rain guards up here because without having that you know an actual door we call it a uh, frame or whatever to go across to put the windows and stuff like that uh when uh water tends to have a way like seeping up in between in here it's, it's good rubber on here so don't get me wrong but it's good to have that rain guard so it kind of helps when like every time i wash the car i have to like clean up both sides of the, of the window but when it rains it's, you don't have to worry about it since it's a it's a 90s car so we got <laughs> ashtrays all around as you see none of them been used i haven't used ashtrays i don't smoke but yeah let's see otherwise my suggestion also is always put 93 in this car uh, because where it's from the gas is a lot I don't know, a lot better <laughs> but yeah pretty much basically it usually has uh i didn't have i thought it had something on here like a sticker that says 93 but it doesn't just an e-sign mine's examined by the japanese automotive appraisal association so <laughs> somebody took time to go ahead and look out for your boy one time let me see the trunk it's not a big trunk but i got two 12s back here i wouldn't uh, i would go with 310s it saves you a lot more trunk space and for some reason my carpet started moving so i kind of rigged it up so i have styrofoam in here to keep it from whoa now whoa now wasp on one no problem daddy Woo! <laughs> me running from the wasp you checking it out too it's hot is that hot huh i'm out here wilding bro come on dog dog shit bro <laughs> <laughs> i got cologne on so i don't know if you're attracted to it i'm gonna keep that i'm not even gonna edit that out i'm gonna get it from a distance though look at that Ooh. They know I got the sauce in the trunk. And I definitely want a dual setup for my exhaust. So I don't know how these sound with duals on it. I've only seen them. They look good. I like I like dual exit. Or if, if I do a single right down the middle, that's cool. But that one side messes with my OCD as far as aesthetics. I'm like, ugh, it looks unbalanced. But yeah. So I got HX2s, I got a little uh DB drive amp. Got the servant vague on the side for the interior interior speakers. As you see, the 12s take up a lot of trunk space. So it looks like it's got ass on it, but it doesn't have a lot of ass on it. There's a spare in there. I'll take a nice little side profile shot back here somewhere. Let's see. It has a it has a nice side profile. Like I said, I'll show you the windows. How they go down basically goes down like my uh ls400 got that old 90s japanese window roll down um for the rears the front side is roll down but let's go ahead and roll the back stuff the rear down to the back windows there you go so you have that it gives it a nice i don't know it gives it a nice aesthetic look i could pop i'm gonna pop the hood let you see that uh the slow works of that VG30. Which basically is the same. It's just a, a, a detuned, not as cool version of the 300Z. Uh, the 90s, same, same year. All right. Throw these windows back up. I got 12%. Lucky me. But <laughs> I also have two batteries, which is cool. The frosted white side uh, lights on it, I love it. Oh, I didn't even show you the power mirrors yet either. See the frosted white? These are frosted, so they look real good and they got LEDs in them. So my advice is to convert anything you got in the ex exterior to LEDs. I only have HIDs on the the uh, the regular headlights. I don't have them on um, highs yet, but I'm working on it. It might be either a halo conversion or something like that. So basically, this is what you have to expect. This is the VG. The VG30, V6. Basically about 100 and, I don't know, between 125 and 150 horse, if, it, if I'm lucky. And I got the Fortune Auto Coils. I'm try, I might have to set them at a softer setting, I'm not sure. They're still kind of rough, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you. 
So yes, yeah, it's, it's a real quiet car. Besides the audio, it looks pretty stock in here. And battery is still from Japan. I'll probably have to um, swap this out soon. Otherwise, yeah. It's a basic, you know, nothing done to it. Like I said, if, if I do swap it, if this engine never goes bad, or the transmission ever goes bad or something like that, I'll get the transmission rebuilt. But if the engine goes bad, I'm not going to stick with the V6. I'm going to go ahead. I mean, now with this, the VG30 V6, I'm going to swap it. Are you back, bro? You want smoke? I don't want no smoke, bro. I don't want none whatsoever. I don't want to get stuck. But yeah, uh, I would just pretty much uh, swap a, either a G37 um, stock, VQ, VR, uh, or the Red Sport 400 twin turbo. I would stick in here. We're we'll saying with the transmission and everything like that. Probably switch up a little bit in there. I don't want no smoke, dog. Don't. Don't take it as no, I don't want no drama. That's me talking nice to nature. You back, bro. Whatever you need, you got it. For the power mirrors, here we go. And take this in consideration, my 92 had it. So power windows on early 90s cars should be like, it was like innovative. That's one thing about the Japanese automakers I love is it's the innovation at a, such an early stage and everything. But the funny thing, like I said before, Meanwhile, these cars weren't able to, you know, they didn't make. Oh, is he inside? Come on, bro, don't do this to me. But like I was saying, uh, the automotive makers, they were this far ahead, so they were only allowed to send the Infinities over here. So Nissan couldn't get couldn't get this off. And I think at this time they only I think they sent over the M30, but they wouldn't let them send over the four door version of it, which would be this car. So they only let the M30 come over from Infinity, and Nissan were, were not allowed to send anything over like this. So it was this is uh, around the time the Maxima would have been out, but this is a little bit bigger than the Maxima uh, of that time because I have a 90. Oh no, I have an 87 at, at home, and this car has a little bit more, a little bit more everything, a little bit front, a little bit back, a little bit more interior. But you know what? I'll tell you a secret. My 87 has more um, interior room. I know, I know the back seat probably has a little bit more room because right now, as you see, with those seats the way they are, sitting back there is gonna be a little a little tight for like anybody over like 5'10, 5'11, just the leg stuff, but you should be good. Far I got plenty of headroom and everything like that. The car is a beauty, man. Uh I've had fun since I've owned it. So if you're thinking about um importing a Y32. I would do it. Even a Y30. Y33 is okay, but they don't give me this feel as, as the more boxy. Uh, what can I explain? It's a classier look. I don't know. I know some people say it has a, a has, gives them a little Bentley vibes up front and a little jag at like mid early 90s, late 90s, early 2000s jag back look with the, uh, the slope line. I agree with all that stuff. The headlights mainly got a little Bentley, and then the side profile gives you a little bit of what is it, the uh, Azure or what's the other Arnage look? So, yeah, my battery's on a four percent. I'm gonna I'm gonna warm up the second battery. So still, you still gotta go try to take some pictures or some video somewhere else. I like making content for y'all. I know this this isn't a, po a popular spot to be. Now I'm getting more. I'm glad this thing has spam detection. Therefore, I'm never answering you if you come up as a spam person. Let me pull off because someone just pulled up. Who knows what they want? Somebody in a Beamer. <laughs> and I'm out, yo.